Once your students can bow with straight bow, it's time to move on to the three factors that can change tone. Placement, bow weight, and speed, or I like to call it PWS. With placement, there's two different factors. First, where you place the bow on the instrument. As you get closer to the bridge, you're gonna have a stronger tone. If you move over the fingerboard, you're gonna have a weaker tone. Let me show you what that looks like. Another thing involving placement is also the place where you set the bow. Closer to the frog, you're gonna get a stronger tone just because the frog has more weight than if you were to set the bow closer to the tip. At the tip, you have a little bit less control so the tone won't be as strong. Along with bow placement is bow weight. How much weight your students are putting with their right hand into their bow. I actually have my students do bow push-ups. They set their bow in the middle of their bow on the string. Using their right hand, they lean in to push the stick downward. For violins, violas, and cellos, they should be able to get all the way down with the stick so it touches the hair. Your bass students won't be able to get the stick all the way down to touch the hair, but they should be able to emulate the same motion. I have my students increase the number of reps they do when we are doing our bow push-ups, just like regular push-ups. To put that into practice, when we put our bow on the string, how much weight we use affects the sound. A stronger tone is gonna be produced with more weight leaning in or a heavier bow push-up, and a weaker tone is gonna be produced with less weight. I'll demonstrate both. Last but not least, you can change the speed of the bow. So I really like talking about bow speed when I'm teaching bow distribution as well. The faster you move your bow, the stronger your tone will be, just because you're causing the string to vibrate more. The slower you move your bow, the less vibrations you're going to get, therefore producing a weaker tone. Students sometimes find it very difficult to move their bow slowly and maintain a consistent tone. So this is a really great exercise to practice with your students to make sure that they're not creating crackles or pops in their tone. Over time, your students will learn how to manipulate these three factors to achieve desired tone.